What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madison Hill, and yes, it's time for another pop off with Madison. For today's pop off, I'm gonna be talking about Selena Gomez because you guys, she is clapping back at body shamers, and I could not be more here for it. Yep, as I'm sure some of you may or may not know, Selena Gomez recently took to her TikTok stories to clap back at body shamers, and you guys know there is nothing I love more than when celebrities clap back at body shamers because here in the House of Hill, we are all about body positivity. So obviously, when I saw our girl Selena Gomez clapping back at people hiding behind a computer screen. I had to sit here and talk to you guys about it. And on top of that, I mean, let's be honest, we all love some positive Selena news to start our week. But before we get into talking about Selena Gomez, because this is the first pop-off of the week and it's Monday, you guys know I love a check-in. So I want to check in and see how you guys are doing. Let me know how you are, how your weekend was, all of that good stuff down below. Me personally, I had a very busy weekend. On Friday, I had a wedding. It was so gorgeous. The venue was beautiful. The weather was beautiful. The food was delicious. I obviously had so much fun on the dance floor, all of that good stuff. And also I do want to apologize. I did not have a pop up for you guys on Friday. Full disclosure, if you don't follow me on Instagram, basically I woke up and in LA we had a horrible heat wave this weekend and the dress that I was planning on wearing would have not worked in the heat. It would have showed every drop of sweat that I was sweating. And while I can handle some upper lip sweat, I cannot handle the sweat showing everywhere else. So I had to go out and find a new dress to wear, which thankfully I did find one last minute, but that did mean that I wasn't able to give you guys a pop off on Friday and I'm so so sorry for that so I definitely wanted to take a moment to apologize for that then on Saturday you guys I did go ahead and go to Disney Mama Hill and I had a little Disney staycation we went to the food and wine festival it was so much fun despite it being super crowded and very hot but yeah that's really all that I have to fill you guys in on today I'm feeling a little bit tired my allergies are definitely killing me because the freaking temperature keeps changing here in LA don't know if anyone else with allergies can relate to that it is absolutely horrible if you're an allergy person just know I'm suffering right there alongside with you, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking about myself because I know you straight to the tea people are like, okay, Madison, wrap it up. We wanna get to the Selena tea and I don't blame you. So go ahead and put this time code down there in the comments to help out your fellow straight to the tea people. And now let's not waste any more time and get straight to unwrapping these Selena Gomez facts. All right, so as I'm sure a lot of you already know, Selena Gomez has been super active on TikTok lately and obviously I love it. She's confirmed that she's single over on TikTok. She served several iconic looks over on TikTok and even even more recently, she gave Camila Cabello some love on TikTok and posted a video of her dancing to one of Camila Cabello's new songs. Now, personally, when I saw this TikTok of Selena Gomez dancing to Camila Cabello, I saw someone who was having fun, living their best life, literally having no cares in the world. But of course, because the internet is, as I like to say, the internet, some other people saw this video and decided to criticize and comment on Selena Gomez's weight. Therefore, Selena Gomez had to take some time to get these people together and she decided to do so over on her TikTok story and she started her clap back at these body shamers first saying quote so I'd be trying to stay skinny but I went to Jack in the Box and I got four tacos three egg rolls onion rings and a spicy chicken sandwich a girl truly after my own heart she then continued saying quote but honestly I don't care about my weight because people about it anyway you're too small you're too big that doesn't fit then she went on to post this I am perfect the way I am. After Selena Gomez posted these TikTok stories where she was directly addressing the camera, she then followed it up with another TikTok story where she was lip syncing along to Tyga's Rack City. And of course, she made sure to include the part where Tyga says, I'm a muff star. Now, obviously, Selena Gomez's response to these body shamers has been blowing up online and going viral everywhere. And of course, she's also been receiving a ton of praise. And I also want to point out, I find it interesting that Selena Gomez had to get these body shamers together just a few days after she had an interview air on Good Morning America, where she revealed that she had to take a four and a half year break from social media. During this interview, Selena Gomez talked about how that break from the internet has really helped her be the person she is today. She ended up saying, quote, I am happier. I am more present. I connect more with people. I understand how powerful the internet is and in so many ways it's done the best things for the world but for me I get my news that is actually important through the people in my life as you all know this is not the first time that Selena Gomez has talked about taking a break from social media and taking a break from the internet she's talked about this a ton before and even previously she's mentioned how she doesn't even have a lot of social media apps on her phone instead whenever she wants to post anything she sends it to someone on her team or one of her friends and they go ahead and log into her account and post whatever content she wants which I'm not gonna lie to you guys I feel like if you People keep up with this negativity on TikTok. So then you go, this is going to get to the point that's like, you know what, TikTok, I'm going to go ahead and stop posting on here as well. I obviously don't want that to happen. And here I am obviously already popping off. So let's just go ahead and make this pop up official. Get to the champs and get to that shambong.
Okay, so first of all, you guys already know how I feel about body shamers. I literally cannot stand them. I personally will never understand how someone can sit behind a computer screen, anonymously of course, and criticize somebody else's appearance. Like in what world does someone think that that's okay? And you know what? I totally understand Selena Gomez's frustration and why she couldn't just sit back and not say anything anymore because you guys know Selena Gomez a lot of times does not comment on things that are happening on the internet. She doesn't comment on drama happening on the internet. A lot of times she does remain unbothered and just remains quiet but I feel like when it comes to body shaming she finally had to clap back and put people in their place because unfortunately this is not the first time as of recently even that Selena Gomez has been on the receiving end of criticism about her weight. For example do you remember when she released her Latin album Revelacion? She was dancing on her Instagram story with one of her friends and of course people on the internet took those clips and were talking about how Selena Gomez looked pregnant. Then there was also that Vax Live event that Selena Gomez hosted. People were commenting on how that red dress didn't fit her, how she looked heavier, again how she looked pregnant. Like these are just two examples that are off the top of my head. I'm sure there's been even more, which is absolutely not okay. Because newsflash, and I don't know who needs to hear this, but clearly there's a large chunk of people on the internet who do, but wait fluctuates. Some days you're thinner, some days you're more bloated. That's just how the human body works. I mean, hell, even me personally, I feel like I looked different on Friday when I went to the wedding versus how I looked on Sunday after spending two days eating and living my best life at Disney. Like that's just how bodies work. That's just how life is. If you are living your best life, I feel like of course your weight is going to fluctuate a little bit. It's normal. It happens to everyone. And I don't know when it became a thing that celebrities have to have the same weight at all all times at every single event. I just feel like that is just such an unrealistic expectation to have of anyone. And you know what really gets me? People love to complain about how celebrities aren't relatable and how they put out these unrealistic beauty standards to everyone and they put out these unrealistic beauty standards on social media. But then when you have a celebrity like Selena Gomez who is authentic and who is realistic and who is just being her normal self, people criticize her for that too. So it's just very confusing to me. It's similar to what I said about Kourtney Kardashian. Like what do people want? Do you want celebrities to continue having these unattainable bodies or do you want celebrities to be relatable and promote normal healthy body types like which one is it because you can't have both I'm sorry it just drives me absolutely insane I know I have upper lip sweat going on you guys know I get really passionate about these subjects and you know what I just want to say I absolutely love Selena Gomez's clapback first off I love that she gave us her jack-in-the-box order I mean you guys know that I'm definitely more of a McDonald's girl of course but I love that Selena Gomez was just open and honest with everything she ordered from Jack in the Box. It's probably one of the most relatable things I've ever seen from a celebrity and I was here for it. And I also love how she was like, you know what? I try to be skinny and I try to please people, but either way, it's not happening. So I'm just gonna keep doing me because I look great and I'm perfect the way I am. And you know what? She's right. She looks good. She's a freaking star and she is not letting body shamers get to her and I absolutely stand. Overall, as I'm sure you guys were able to tell from the very beginning of this video, I love Selena Gomez's clap back. I'm happy she did it. I'm I'm happy she took the time to get people on TikTok together because I'm telling you, I want to see Selena Gomez keep making TikToks. I feel like TikTok is a safe space for her. I feel like it's a place where she can really show her personality and connect with her fans. And I don't want negative people to make her stop posting on there. Yes, I know that negativity is part of being on the internet. I know that negativity is part of being a celebrity. I know that negativity is part of putting yourself out there. Hello, I've definitely received my fair share of negative comments about my appearance and my weight as well. Well, and I know Selena knows that negativity and receiving criticism is also part of being a celebrity. I'm just saying that Selena Gomez is at a place in her career where she doesn't need social media to be successful. So if she wants to go ahead and stop posting on TikTok one day, she absolutely can. We all know that she'll be successful with or without it. I'm just saying selfishly, I hope that negative people don't drive Selena Gomez off another social media app. All right, you guys, that is the latest I have for you on Selena Gomez. I wanna hear all of your thoughts and feels down below. While you guys are at it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't don't forget that notification bell. For more content, make sure you follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. And of course, don't forget to keep coming back to my channel to check out my YouTube shorts. Especially make sure you check out my YouTube short from today because it is major, major, major Britney Spears news. So make sure you check that out. Also, you guys know you can find all my merch at houseofhill.com. And on that note, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.